Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. So this video is following on directly from something that I kind of alluded to at the end of the previous one. Um, and that is to do with a project that the State of Star Wars guys have been working very hard on over the course of these past couple of months. And this project is a three-part counter to a very common thing when it comes to the Star Wars fandom, especially on YouTube, and that's prequel hate. You don't have to search very far in, to come across reviews of the prequels that are done by people who don't like them. And dare I say it, a lot of the criticisms that people level against these films are unfair. Now, this is just a quick announcement video, so I'm not going to go extremely in-depth into this. Um, but back in 2008, you had Confused Matthew release his reviews of, of the prequel trilogy, which were all extremely negative. Then in 2009, guess who comes along? Mr. Plinkett of Red Letter Media. And whilst... Confused Matthew is kind of the original prominent prequel hater on YouTube. Plinkett is definitely the king of prequel haters. And those two are the people in whose footsteps people like Chris Stuckman, I Hate Everything, Channel Awesome, Screen Junkies, um, Cosmonaut Variety Hour, Hello Greedo you know, and people like that. Confuse Matthew and Plinkett's examples when it comes to prequel hate are the examples that they and many others have followed. And it's gotten to a point where the prequel hate is just annoying. Now, let me just say a little something about prequel hate itself. If you are someone who does not like the prequels, but is perfectly willing to respect the opinions of those who do like them, then that's fine. This video and the videos that I'm about to recommend are not the type of videos that are aimed for you. The prequel haters who I personally have a big issue with are, one, the people who make complaints about the films that can easily be counter-argued just by paying attention to the films themselves, and especially the people who were responsible for giving the prequel trilogy actors unfair stick. Specifically, those who went after people like Jake Lloyd and Ahmed Best. In the case of those two in particular, if you're going to say that Jake and Ahmed should have had thicker skin, that's incredibly unfair. In the case of Jake, he was only, what, nine years old? at the time, and then there's Ahmed Best. And it's absolutely true that Ahmed Best was an adult at the time of the prequel trilogy, but in the case of these two especially, with Jake, the prequel backlash and being made fun of as a result of just being in the first prequel film, The Phantom Menace, it got to a point where he ended up going through a psychological breakdown over the many years after that movie came out. And in the case of Ahmed Best, the prequel hate was so intense that he personally was almost driven to suicide. And if that doesn't show you how harsh the prequel hate is, if you didn't know that, if you didn't know that people within the prequel trilogy's cast and crew were affected that badly, well, yeah, then that may be a bit of a shocker for you. I certainly didn't know anything about Ahmed Best's struggle with suicide until, well, only a couple of years ago, I would say. And in the case of the hatred that Jake endured, again, he was just a child. You know, do you really think nine-year-olds would have, or at least many nine-year-olds would have, a thick enough skin to endure the kind of hate that he received? I don't think so. 
it's those sorts of prequel haters who I really cannot stand. But anyway, back on track with talking about the prequel hate and these videos themselves. The people who these videos I'm about to recommend are aimed for, really, are the big prequel haters. The people who support the opinions of people like Confused Matthew and Plinkett. And Plinkett? I have a big bone to pick against him especially because with his prequel reviews, not only did he and by extension many who have followed in his footsteps over the years um, make complaints about the films that can easily be countered by simply paying attention to them, he also in his reviews talks down to prequel fans as if they are absolute morons. And that's just not fair. Trying to treat someone as a moron just because they liked films that you didn't? Like, come on, what is that about? Um, so, on to the videos that I'm actually recommending here. The State of Star Wars prequel defences. There are three of them, one for each film. In the episode one defence it was CJG, Henson, Spider-Man Maniac, and King Nazaru. Then in episode 2's defence, it was those four guys plus Django Fett. And in the episode 3 defence, it was those four and myself. Um, so, just to cut to the chase here, if you are someone who absolutely detests the prequels, or even if you're a fan of the prequels and didn't know some of the things that these videos talk about, I highly recommend you give them a watch. I will give those videos a link via their playlist on the SOSW YouTube channel, so then that way you can check them out all in your own time back to back. All of those videos are quite long, they're, they're over three hours. So, just bear that in mind before you watch these. However, I strongly suggest that you watch them because a lot of what people give the prequel say for, these videos argue against, and they do actually show evidence of why a lot of things people say negatively about the prequels are wrong. And who knows, it might be a bit of an eye-opener to those of you who don't like the prequels. But anyway, that's it from me. That's all I wanted to talk about today. And I'll see you guys again in another video soon. So until then, goodbye, and may the Force be with you.